right, hello everybody, Jake Schwartz here for the Atlantic 10 Media Day, the Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, New York, here with one of my favorite guests. I see this guy probably more times than I see my own family as far as out of town coaches. The pride of Rhode Island, David Cox, welcome back to the Voice of Reason, sir. The voice, it's a pleasure being here. It is, yes, and uh, let's talk about what a great season you had in your first year, basically uh, Coach Dan Hurley kind of jumping ship in the middle of the night. You're then pressured to take over as the new head coach, but I'll tell you what, you have certainly filled those shoes uh, with some great talent. We're going to talk about that sure. in a few minutes, but I want to talk about how was your first experience at Rhode Island? Well, it certainly was an experience, right? We had our ups yes. and downs throughout the year. Finished on a pretty high note. Oh, yes. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. What, did you, what did you learn? Well, you know what? I learned a little bit about myself. Uh, I learned to trust myself. Uh, I learned what my philosophy overall would be in this game of basketball as a head coach. I learned that the buck stops with me, so all the decisions that I might have passed on previously to my other bosses as head coaches, now You've I have had some to, great ones. I have had some great ones, uh, and I've learned from them as well. But I've had to answer those questions now. Um, but it's been a great experience. You know, I wouldn't. I cherish these moments. I cherish these days as a as a head coach, and particularly at the University. Of yeah, tell us about uh, what it was like because you had the chance to work with from Mike Rice to Dan Hurley. You have bounced around from Rutgers to, I believe, you were at Robert Morris for a couple Not seasons. Oh, no, really? Not I didn't know that. I thought you were with Mike at Robert Morris. No, I wasn't. I was actually at Pittsburgh. Yes. My first job. And with Jamie George Dixon. That's right. That is right. That's and right. you learned from another great, uh, what was it like working with those three? Wow. Well, let's put it this way. How about this for an experience? My first job was at University of Pittsburgh with Jamie Dixon. Yes. One of the best coaches in college basketball. I don't disagree with My that. My second job was at Georgetown University with John Thompson III. I can't disagree with that okay. one either. <laughs> one of the best basketball minds that I've ever been around. Yeah, we just don't talk about his father. And, that, then, no. I, and then I get the opportunity to coach with both Mike Rice and then with, follow that up with Danny Hurley. Outstanding. You know, outstanding yes, experience. you know, you've been very instrumental in some of my Philadelphia players, and we're going to talk now about the upcoming season, and you fell, I think, two games short of the A-10 championship. Uh, you know, of course, I was there every day, and you lost, I believe, if I'm correct, to Davidson, was that correct? Last year, we yes. lost to St. Bonaventure. St. Bonaventure, and, and that was a great uh, classic matchup, but you did upset uh, Virginia Commonwealth. That was the biggest game, in my opinion, that I enjoyed watching was your win over the number one seed in the tournament, VCU. Uh, tell us about that. Well, I appreciate that. Well, they had previously beaten us pretty badly. <laughs> I think I did hear, I heard about that, yes. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I guess we were, you know, we were just up for the game, you know, and at that point we had been on a little bit of a roll. We had won four or five games in a row. Uh, our guys remembered that they had beat us pretty badly. Yes. Um, we had beaten them earlier in the year, so we felt confident that we would be able to, to, to beat this monster of a team. And it just kind of all came together. But much, obviously, much respect to, to VCU at a heck of a year last year. Went on to the NCAA tournament, and now they're favored to win the game. Here we go all over again. We're going to talk right. about, uh, let's talk about the team that you're going to be bringing in. I'm talking about first team, Cyril Lagavine. Uh, second team, Jeff Doughton. And, of course, we refer to him as third team. We don't say his name. I have to. Duran Fats Russell. Here we go. Uh, Duran Fats Russell, as uh, Coach Hurley used to say it best, Fats Russell for three. And you were very instrumental on recruiting him back when you were assistant at Rhode Island. What is it like coaching those three? Well, those three guys are tremendous people, first and foremost. Yes. And they're very coachable. Two of them. I, I think Fats has a, is a troublemaker. <laughs> no, he is exactly. a good person. No, they're awesome. They're awesome kids, first of all. They all love the game of basketball. Um, Cyril Angevine has developed into this player. He wasn't always this guy. He was more of an athlete when we first He has been, um, he's, yes, he's he has come a long right, way right. since his days at the Patrick School. He's developed a lot of skill, a lot of skill to go along with his motor and his athleticism. Jeff Dowden has been a, a kind of, you know, a very consistent, you know, player for us since he's been, since he's been here. And his game has taken leaps and bounds every year. And we expect him to take another leap. We need him to take another leap. And then Fats, I mean, he was impactful as a freshman on the championship team. He's thrust into a starting lineup in a leadership role last year. Where he might have struggled earlier in the year. He came oh, around he come towards around. the end of the season. Including that St. Joe game Absolutely. where he dropped 41 points Absolutely. in his homecoming. Absolutely. He's shown tremendous maturity and leadership over the past couple of months. And uh, your first game this uh, upcoming season as the new season begins 
in Rhode Island. Tell us about that and uh, what are the expectations? Well, the first game this year is versus LIU. Uh, so an old foe in Garrett Kellogg, who's coaching yes. in, in the league. Oh, I He's know done that. a great job, obviously, over there at LIU. I believe getting into the NCAA tournament yes. last year. Yes, yes, he has. His first year. So we're talking about a guy who knows the league, an experienced veteran coach, and a guy who knows how to recruit talent and you know how to mesh teams. So it'll be a challenging first game. And uh, your uh, thoughts going uh, as you get ready for uh, for the regular season going into the tournament? Well, we're excited about this this this, this year in general because of the team that we bring back. We're excited about the opportunity that we'll have in non-conference play. Sure you looked at the non-conference I have. slate. And yes. It's a pretty challenging slate, but it's one that will hopefully give us an opportunity to make the tournament. We've talked know. about this a bunch of times. We, we spend enough time, I think, together. Jacob Schwartz again bringing you A-10 Media Day coverage with one of my favorite out-of-town coaches. I'm talking about David Cox, who, hey, don't sell yourself short, I think is definitely legendary. Again, Jacob Schwartz here at the Barclays with Rhode Island's David Cox. David, good luck this season. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it.